Hi, welcome to Latin Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand time complexity examples. And this is the first video of examples that we are going to solve on time complexity. And in our previous classes, we have clearly described, we have clearly explained the definition of time complexity and uh, 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 the basic concepts of algorithms. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here because the understanding of those concepts is very important for you to understand how we are going to find the time complexity of an algorithm. And every Every video on our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. In this class, we'll try to understand, we'll try to solve, we'll try to find the time complexity of this algorithm. So the algorithm is uh, sum of elements of an array, given an array. So what this algorithm, we'll try to understand in detail about this uh, example. For example, assume that given an array given an array and uh, there are some elements in this array and uh, what what is the job of this algorithm is to sum the elements all these elements will get sum and the final result is getting returned here so here we have taken initially s is equal to 0 and this for loop is going to iterate for n times this for loop is going to 1 to n so starting from this element so because it is though it is 0 so for a, for the convenience of algorithm we have taken it as n so if it is taken as 0 it has to iterate from 0 to n minus 1 so in order to avoid that confusion of 0 to n minus 1 uh, in all our algorithms we are going to consider in the case of arrays it is going to iterate we are going to start from 1 okay so starting from 1 to n it is going to iterate as we are having five elements this loop is going to iterate for five five times and after that this statement will get executed so see here what happens here in each iteration it is going to fetch the elements the elements of an array for in the first iteration a of 0 so 10 is getting fetched and it is it will get added to s initially the value of s is 0 and after that in the second iteration the uh, the sum is stored with 10 and it is going to fetch the second element which is 5 and that will get added to s 10 plus 5 15 so in that way we are going to add all the elements of an array and that final sum will be returned back so this is the uh, 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 essence of this algorithm now we will try to find the time complexity of an algorithm so what is a time complexity of an algorithm we have discussed that it is the count of program steps number of program steps that are executed before completion of the program before getting the output the number of times the program steps are getting executed the sum of all those uh, executions of the program steps is what we call it as uh, the time Time complexity of an algorithm so let's try to understand line by line we will try to understand see here this line of code before the completion of this entire algorithm how many times does this line of code will get executed think of it we, we will try to um, we will try to understand this very slowly and you watch this video as many times as possible until you get the clarity and this concepts are very very important to understand so how many times in the execution of this entire uh, entire algorithm how many times this line of code will get executed this is a program step right program step which is semantically and syntactically meaningful line of code and it is independent of all instance characteristics so we are not concerned about the micro operations that are required for this line of line of code that is being executed so this is uh, a program step now uh, how many times does this line of code will get executed in the en entire execution of this program of this algorithm how many times will it get executed it will get executed one time okay so this program step will get executed one time and what about this for loop how many times does this for loop will get executed execution of for loop means what what does that mean execution of for loop means this expression excluding the increment operator excluding the uh, uh, initialization initialization operation 
the uh, the conditional part so this this is the conditional part and this part how many times does this part is getting executed we are going to consider only that part of the for loop okay so in all the algorithms we are going to uh, count that only because from that we are going to understand that right, how many times does this for loop is going to iterate okay and which means that this is one program step how many times does this program step this one there is this is one program step but this program step is going to be executed many times how many times that also we have to understand how many times is it is n plus one as we are having five elements why this line of code is executed n plus one number of times why it is getting executed means for all these elements it will get executed if the value of n so let's for for better understanding we will consider the indexes from okay this way so how many times one starting one okay it is fine uh, less than is it less than one to n is it between the next increment is is it between one to n next is two yes it is between one to n three four five and after that after that one one more time this line of code will get executed where the value of n is greater than 5 greater than 5 means we have come out of the array we have come out of the array so this line of code will get uh, any for loop any loop will get executed n plus one number of times before coming out of the uh, uh, coming out of the loop so think of that point this point is very important why n plus one because this for loop uh, so in order to come out of this for loop the last line of code again so after completion of five number of times again it will get executed there it, there it will understand that uh, so the uh, uh, the condition is not getting satisfied so we are going to come out of the for loop so that extra one is the last line of code that is getting executed the last time this for loop condition will get executed is this extra one so this for loop is going to iterate for n plus one number of times okay and what about this so every time we come into this loop this loop this this statement will get executed so how many times does this line of code will get executed so this is another program step right so how many times does this line of code will get executed so is it n plus one no in the in the n plus one in the last step of code we are not going to come into this for loop so this line of code will get executed n number of times as we are coming into this loop for n number of times this line will get executed n number of times what about this statement this statement will get executed only one time that is the last line of code that is getting executed uh, uh, before the termination of this program now the sum of the executions the number of times the program steps are that that are executed that sum is what we call it as time complexity let's try to do the sum of all these lines so it is 1 plus n plus 1 plus n plus 1 so if you uh, uh, solve this it is going to be 2n plus 3 this is the time complexity of this algorithm so the time complexity of this algorithm so what about the amount of time that is taken if you consider the execution of each program step as one unit amount of time it may be one second it may be one microsecond or it may be one minute or it may be one and one hour for example if if the each program step is getting executed for one unit amount of time it is one second let's assume that one second is the uh, uh, amount of time that it that the computer is taking for each program step to execute now what is the amount of time for uh, this array to get summed it is 2n plus 1 what is the size of this array it is n so wh what is the amount of time that it is taken for example if you take these five elements it is 2 into 5 plus 3 2 into 5 plus 3 it is 10 plus 3 it is 13 seconds the time that is taken the time that is taken by this algorithm to run this array to sum all the elements of this array is 30 seconds okay if it is one microsecond then 10 13 microseconds is the amount of time that is taken by this algorithm to complete its execution 
okay so this 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 uh, equation represents the time complexity of an algorithm try to understand this point okay so hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching